Hey guys, what's up? It's Becoming from GNA today. So I want to do a quick comparison today between the Taurus TX22 and the Smith & Wesson MP22 Compact. Honestly, both of these handguns are very similar to each other. They're both polymer frame, they have aluminum slide, steel barrel. Of course, the Taurus is striker fired, the Smith & Wesson is hammer fired, but very similar. But they do have some differences, so I want to go through those pretty quickly today. Okay, one of the main differences is kind of obvious is that this is the Compact. So it's a small, pretty small little, little handgun. Whereas the TX-22 is really a training gun for a full-size gun. It's a, it's a full-size 22. There's definitely a difference in size here. See, the, the grip is a lot longer on the TX. The slide is definitely longer. Now, especially in the grip, you can tell that the TX here on the left-hand side is a lot thicker than the the 22 compact. So on this, my grip gets about that close. On the TX, it gets about that close, but it's got this hump out here that makes it make it come back even further, which is a very natural grip on both of these. I love the grip on both of them. They're both very good. But obviously this one definitely is smaller on the 22 compact. Okay, with an empty mag, the 22 Compact is a little over 17 ounces. And with an empty mag, the Taurus TX-22 is a little over 17 ounces. Okay, then one of the other obvious differences between these two is how many rounds the mags will hold. So on the TX-22, it holds 16 rounds, which is definitely a good number. The 22 Compact holds 10 rounds. Okay, like I said before, I do like the way that both of these feel whenever I'm holding them. They both are just very ergonomic to me. I just, I really like them. The stippling on the compact here, it's it's not real strong, but it, it's good enough. The stippling on the, the TX-22 I feel like is a little bit better. Also, the, the grip, it does have one little hump here for your fingers to do that. It does have more of an undercut underneath the trigger guard where there's not much of an undercut at all on the 22 Compact. But both of them, both of them feel very good to me in the hand. They just, they both just, just hold really, really naturally, really well. Okay, as far as reliability goes, and the TX-22 hasn't been out for a very long time. It's only been out for a few months. I've shot about 2,000 rounds through mine. It has been very reliable. Now, of course, it shoots 22 LR, so there's occasional problems with the ammo itself, but just, Holding up after 2,000 rounds, there's no undo wear in here anywhere. There's a little bit of, of wear on the barrel, but what would be natural. It's just just been very reliable, and it, it shoots well. I can't see that anything is just going to absolutely tank on this as far as, as quality of, of the, the craftsmanship, of the materials used. I feel like it's actually very good quality for a 22. It's very nice. Of course, the 22 Compact has been out for a long time and it has a good reputation for being a reliable handgun. And also on the reliability side of things, as far as shooting different types of ammo, neither one of these are ammo picky. I've shot all kinds of junky stuff, shot good stuff through both of them, and they both just eat everything up. So they're both very reliable in that sense. Okay, as far as accuracy goes, I can shoot both of these handguns about as accurately as the other. So this was one group I shot where there's, uh, this group was with the TX-22. This was shooting offhand at, a, at 25 or 30 feet. I can't remember which one, but somewhere in there, 25 to 30 feet. This was a group here with the TX-22, and then here's a group with the MP 22 Compact. So you can see they're very similar in size there. In the end, I can shoot them, shoot about the same group size with either one. I definitely prefer the trigger pull of the TX-22. We are empty here. It's got about a five pound pull and then reset right there. It's a little bit mushy on the front side to get to the break, but then after that, whenever you're resetting and pulling, it's very short, very crisp. I love the trigger on this thing. On the 22 Compact, I just am not a huge fan of this hinge trigger. And I mean, it's fine, but I just don't totally prefer that. So you gotta pull through that, pull that hinge down, pull it all the way through. And there's a little bit of, I don't know, like a little bump that I feel like I've got to get past to get to the brake. And it's pretty heavy to pull at that point. It's, it just feels real strong before it breaks. And then the reset's right there. 
and the reset's pretty good on it. I just definitely prefer the, the trigger on the TX-22. It just feels a lot better. Okay, they both have three dot sights on the 22 compact. The front sight, the dot on it is a lot bigger than the dot on the TX-22. And you may like a bigger dot, you may like a smaller dot. And both of them have adjustable for elevation and windage on the rear sight. Both of them come threaded for suppressors from the factory. The TX-22 has the thread adapter included. On the 22 Compact, you can get a version that doesn't have one or you can get one that does, but it, it adds on to the cost. So if you just get the standard 22 Compact to get this adapter, it's about 20 bucks or so. So definitely good that all models on the TX-22 include the little adapter. Both of them definitely are awesome suppressor hosts. Both just work very well for that. Both of them mags drop free and it definitely shoots out better on the on the 22 compact I mean it drops just fine on the TX 22 but it does not rocket it up like the 22 compact does Okay, both of them cost about the same. Uh, Palmetto's had these on sale for a while now for about $249. The TX-22, like I said, it's just been out for a few months, so it's been a little bit higher, but I have seen them down to $260, $270, somewhere in that neighborhood. So they're really in the same ballpark as far as price. The TX-22 holds more rounds, but it is a completely polymer mag. The feed lips are polymer. It's all polymer except for the spring in it. The 22 Compact has a metal mag. And with this little assist here on it, it makes it pretty easy to pull this down. On the, 20, on the TX-22, it takes a little bit more to pull the follower down, although it's not bad. They're, they're both about as easy to load, but this one is metal where this one's completely polymer. Okay, and also on the mags, they really cost about the same. I already seen these, I've already seen these on Taurus's website for 22 bucks, and that's in the general neighborhood of where the 22 Compact's magazines are, so that's very similar. Okay, for takedown, I prefer the takedown of the TX-22, but both of them are pretty quick and easy. So we're empty. And then of course I gotta take this adapter off. And it's that quick on the TX-22. Then on the 22 Compact, I'm gonna thread the adapter off now. Lock it back. Put that lever down. It comes off just like that. One advantage to the TX-22 is that when you take it down, even though it is a fixed barrel design where the barrel is, is fixed during action, it does come off in takedown. So you can take this out and it's a whole lot easier to clean whenever you take it apart like this. On the 22 Compact, the barrel is fixed in there and you'd have to knock out these roll pins to be able to get that barrel off of there. I mean, it's still easy enough to get to, but it is a little bit better on the TX-22 for that. Okay, the guide rod on the TX-22 is a polymer piece, and on the 22 Compact, the inner, the main rod piece there is actually metal. Okay, on the inside of the 22 Compact here, you can see that it is hammer fired. There is no hammer on the TX-22. And on the inside of the slot of the TX-22, you can see the actual striker right here. Obviously, another difference is this is a Taurus, this is a Smith. Definitely, people uh, generally would prefer Smith over Taurus, but uh, this this handgun is is a is a very good one and it's just like I'm seeing all over the place now people talking about the fact that Taurus is definitely stepping stepping it up and I think this gun right here is definitely proof of this that is just so well built but um, on the TX22 the warranty originally when this first came out it said it had a one year warranty but Taurus changed their minds about a month later and if you register it within 30 days of purchase 
you get a limited lifetime warranty that the original owner has a, a limited lifetime warranty on it. The Smith, uh, Smith in general is very good about warranty work and about if they just want their guns running. So uh, they're, they're very good about getting things fixed and doing it in a timely manner. So really probably on that, the Smith definitely is going to have a little bit of an advantage as far as warranty goes. Okay, one difference, of course, you can see here is in the ejection port on the slide here. It goes all the way up to the top here on the 22 compact on the Taurus. It's just this one little slot right here. Um, I don't have any ejection problems with the Taurus TX-22 at all. It does fine. So that's not an issue, but definitely a difference there. Okay, and then another thing that I had never thought of, but that I saw in one of 22 Plinkster's videos is he was talking about the fact that with the ejection port being just in the side right here instead of being open to the top, it makes this really, the TX-22, better to suppress. Because whenever you're suppressing, it pushes a lot of pressure back. And whenever it's just a side ejection like this, all that side ejection totally goes that way instead of on this where the top is open when you shoot and it's pushing all that back then it has room to come back towards your face so it makes it a better suppressor host for the especially for the shooter whenever it's just a side ejection port like this both of them come with two magazines i, I don't have the other one for the 22 compact but both of them come with with two magazines okay the 22 compact has a few more little rail slots there not a huge deal but it does have a few more rail slots Okay, on the 22 compact, I mean, it's just compact. So there's not much room in here to get your finger into the trigger guard. On the 22, on the TX-22, there's definitely tons of room to get your finger into that trigger guard. Definitely comes way out, giving plenty of space there. Both of them have reversible uh, magazine releases. They both have ambidextrous safeties. The 22 compact safety definitely has a stronger detent feeling. The TX-22 is fine, but it's a little bit squishier. Slide stop is about the same on these. TX-22 has front serrations and rear serrations, where the 22 Compact only has rear serrations. So to me, both of these handguns really are just very similar. Um, they both have good natural grip. They're, I mean, just, of course, they're constructed a lot the same, same safety, mag release, just very similar. So the difference is, is probably comes down to, to the size. I mean, which, which one do you want? Do you want a big full size one or do you want a small compact? And then the other main consideration really is the mag count. Do you want 16 rounds or do you want 10 rounds? And uh, so as far as accuracy, reliability, all of that type of stuff that, that really matters to me, both of these are in the same ballpark. They're, they're just as good as each other on that. So the, it's do you want a small one or do you want a bigger one with, a, with more rounds is really, I guess, kind of the deciding factor there. Either way, it's going to be hard for you to go wrong on these. These are two awesome handguns. This is me coming in from GNA today. Thanks for watching.